So I've been on camp for a couple of days now, and I have noticed that uh, you're the wacky funster. You're the, you're like the you're like a American Greg Welsh. You're a little <laughs> little taller. You know? See, I liked you until you said <laughs> I was the American Greg Welsh. <laughs> He's uh, he has that that way of saying something that you know people will just he just says that with a smile. Yeah. Obviously, you're bringing that as well to to the team, and uh, good fun just to to you know be involved in this environment. Yeah, it's been great. And don't don't tell Joe Gambles you think I'm the jokester because he he wants that for himself. But uh, no, it's good, man. It's a good group of people, and uh, you know triathletes. Sometimes at times can be a little introverted, so uh, I'm not. So try to try to bring it out at people, but uh, it's a good, it's a good group, and it's pretty easy to, to have a good time with these guys. Is that fun for you though? Like you, you know, I mean, triathletes are notoriously stiff. They yeah. really are, and uh, they're they're a little bit compulsive. Um, but you manage to uh, to cut through that, I and mean, that's obviously how you deal with the, the miles and and doing all the training and the racing. Yeah, I mean, for me, if people ask me how I get through the tough spots and and racing, and it's usually finding somebody to make fun of during the race <laughs> or doing something like that, right? So. Um, yeah, I mean, I think everybody's, uh, you know, all these triathletes have great personalities underneath and they're just so used to spending time by themselves, right? So all you got to do is kind of do a little twist and it'll come out. So you find their, find their weak spot, see what they're, where they're vulnerable, maybe just give them a little bit yeah, of just a... just dive in. <laughs> <laughs> Show the soft spot and just go for it. Yeah. Speaking of diving in, a beautiful segue there. Your, uh, your collection of Speedos, my Lord. Yeah, uh, yeah. You busted out, the, there's the unicorn is there and there's a whole whole range. This, again, just, uh, you know, getting away from the traditional black on black yeah yeah you got to mix it up i figure if you're wearing a speedo you're kind of already looking as you say but a little bit dodgy anyway so <laughs> might as well go for the gusto and uh yeah i've got one with a unicorn rainbow and a little gnome on the back uh, actually uh, that one's claim to fame was i ran around at uh, cross national championships in bend this year it's 30 30 degrees and had my luchador mask and that speedo on <laughs> rooting for my buddies uh, it's a good time like i said if, if you've got a speedo on might as well make it a, make it a good one <laughs> <laughs> and so what, what's on the agenda for you, I guess, uh, you know, we'll talk a little bit about your racing that probably might help. Yeah, um, right. Where are you heading? What's, what's the goal race? And um, if we talk to you in, you know, in a few months' time, what are you going to be happy with having achieved? Yeah, I mean, this year my, my goals have uh, changed a little bit for, from Ironman stuff to half Ironmans, just from some health stuff I went through last year. So I'm um, looking forward to, you know, focusing on 70.3 Worlds. And obviously the steps to get there are going to be to have some, some good races uh, at the 70.3 distance to get there so for me uh looking at galveston u.s national champs uh vine man is one of my favorite races uh that's one i'll be peaking for as well as wildflower yep. uh, but for me it, having the 70.3 worlds somewhere where the bike matters and it matters if you can ride hard on a hard course and run on a hard course um, really looking forward to that race yeah nice and so uh, any more media commitments for you uh you know looking for any more Ironman live stuff or any more of that kind of uh, work yeah i'll be doing some work with them um you know i'm trying to trying to diversify a little bit. I'm going to try to do some print work as well and uh, you know, do what I can to help the team out. But um, also, uh, you know, there's been more opportunities in media. And as a guy who has always been shy, and yet maybe you won't notice that with the Speedos, but it's uh, something I never thought I'd do. But I'm having a great time doing the commentary and that kind of stuff. It's fun. Nice. Well, we're having a great time out here in Hawaii. Love, uh, loved your work on the last few days, and thanks for spending <laughs> a few minutes with us. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it.